Welcome everyone to the final ever episode of Like, Share, Follow. And on the final episode, so lucky to have Jack Drury, who is a travel coordinator for Y Lead. So welcome, Jack. How are you doing? Yeah, thanks, Karen. It's a pleasure to be here today. Good. And so I saw you graduate last week. So how how did that feel, crossing the stage finally? Oh, it's just mixed feelings really i think relief um excitement that it finally happened but i think like at the end of the day i think relief's just a good word that um it's finally out the way i can finally like relax and not have to worry about going back to uni too soon and to know that all my my accomplishments are finished now which is exciting excellent and yeah we, and we were discussing before we went live how you actually started university in 2020 so you were just getting ready into week five getting ready with all your lectures and everything and then COVID hit and it was all online it must have been such a very different first year experience that a lot of students have at university oh absolutely it was um I think like looking back now like being able to get over that COVID period like get through that big chunk of online work um something I can be proud of because obviously it was a really difficult time being a first year student going having to go through all that and then like wanting to give up but keeping up but maintaining that perseverance to keep going it's something I'm proud of and looking back on it today I'm really yeah really happy that I'm standing here as a university graduate today absolutely and you should be proud of that because it would have been so challenging at the time so particularly in your first experience at university and and so now you're working for Y lead so as a travel coordinator so what, tell me about because your your degree was in tourism, wasn't it? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so that really fits well with what you your degree was in. So, what does Y Lead do, and what what does your role involve at Y Lead? Yeah, so um, Y Lead is a leadership organisation that do um, like leadership based programs, uh, particularly um, for school students uh, between like end of primary school to year twelve. Um, they do a lot of work with the youth as well. So like say um, university students, they run a few programs there. Um, and that's how I met them through school. And then I came back and volunteered for them for the last couple of years. And um, one of the things that they do um, from my perspective is uh, run, they run schoolies alternative trips um, to New Zealand and Cambodia, um, which is an alternative to the Gold Coast. So like say a student doesn't want to go to the Gold Coast, we have uh, this option there for them, um, for them to celebrate year 12. Um, and obviously they haven't been able to run that trip for the last three years because of COVID. And I was lucky enough to be a participant on the 2019 uh, trip over to New Zealand, which is sort of why, um, was one of the reasons why they wanted me to come back, obviously finishing university with um, a tourism and events degree. And then being a previous participant on one of the trips, it was exciting for them to invite me back and say, okay, let's um, get these trips up and running again at the end of this year. And um, so they got me on board. So I'm currently coordinating the trips. And um, yeah, so hopefully we can um, get them up and running at the end of the year, which is looking really likely. It's going really good at the moment. And yeah, it's exciting times ahead. Excellent. Oh, that's really good. And it's so good when, uh, I, you know, you can walk out of uni and straight into a job. And even if um, a lot of students now are actually in their field of their sort of research, not research area, their um, professional area while they're still studying as well. So that's a, that's a really great outcome. And so what's been, now that you're, you're sort of working in your area of interest, what has some, been some of the best career advice that you've been given? Look, I think the biggest piece of career advice that I've been given is just to take the opportunities as they come. I think, um, you know, I've learned that a lot towards the end of um, like my final year of uni, like being um, outside of the online world. Um, just taking those opportunities, could, even if they're small, could lead to bigger outcomes in life. Like I find that, um, you know, just taking one small step, like asking for a little bit of advice, like having that opportunity can lead to bigger results. And I think that's something that I still consider today and that's something that I pass on as advice to other people. Yeah, that's really good advice. And so reflecting now on your time at university, what has been some of the most useful skills and knowledge that you've learned that you've been able to really apply in your current role? Um, I think the biggest one is time management and prioritising tasks. Um, obviously, like I found I got better at that as my university sort of um, journey um, got like towards the end of um, that journey. And I think, um, 
you know, like that sort of applies in the real world today and in this role, obviously, um, like when contacting suppliers, you got to call, like especially in New Zealand, they're um, a few hours ahead of us. So like prioritising when to contact their suppliers, um, things like uh, when it comes to contacting um, people that are wanting to come on the trip, so students, making sure you're not contacting them during school hours and just little things like um, just prioritising like important things to get done in the day things that you can leave for later. So just the whole time management and just prioritisation in general has really helped um, along my journey. Yeah, I, I can see. And and on the flip side of that, also reflecting on university journey, what has been some skills and knowledge that you wish you'd had that you really needed in your current role? Um, good question. But I think um, looking back, I think it's probably um, a little bit more on the career side of things. I find that um, like in the tourism and events industry, for example, it's sort of hard to go straight into the industry without experience. Because obviously with COVID and stuff, it's been hard for myself and um, other fellow students in that degree to sort of get that experience. So I think like having a platform or like offering jobs or say maybe a few more internships where we can get that experience that can sort of like fast track us into the real world would be a little bit better. I suppose I was yeah. sort of lucky with a role like this, having known why I lead for a few years now and, um, you know, having that trust and that faith in them to sort of like have them to offer me this role. So I think that's probably something I'll probably look back and wish we'd learned a bit more, just a bit more career sort of um, progression going forward. Yeah, absolutely. And so now does your role, because we met you in my social media analytics class, social media monitoring and measurement now in last year and your final semester. And so now in your current role, do you use social media in what you yes. do? Yes. Yeah, so we've um, obviously kickstarting travel again with Wiley. We, um, I got um, given access to sort of like run the social media for the travel page. And um, it's something that like using the skills from your class last year that have put into good use, like obviously things like, you know, scheduling posts and like for, like creating things that would like stand out and make people want to come on um, one of our trips. And obviously like just drawing in that audience to sort of just convince them to sign up and say, okay, I want to do this. This is something I want to do. I want to go traveling again. So just, just little things like that have really helped. Um, yeah that progress and so with that in mind like because you know social media changes like every day <laughs> so what's been something that you've noticed or learned in the last couple of weeks that you found really interesting about social media um well obviously it's a very interesting topic in general the whole social world in over many platforms but i think like from my perspective the biggest thing that i've like noticed is um time like what time you post um like put posts up like i find like for example with um the travel page if we put a post up say around four or five o'clock it will probably draw a lot more attention than say posting it at lunchtime because we find out that time around four and five o'clock that's when everyone most people will finish work finish school that's when everyone's going to be going on social media and seeing these posts come up so i think it's yeah. just about like just learning like when to attract your audience and like just thinking about when like people will be more engaged Excellent. And also around your role at Wileed, so what do you think made you stand out from other candidates going for the same role? Well, I think uh, the biggest one was, um, you know, having volunteered and done stuff at Wileed in the past, like, you know, like volunteering at schools and I guess helping them out in other aspects of that. So having that prior knowledge. And I think um, just having a passion for the tourism and events industry, um, I think like it's it goes to show that like you know investing time like trying to look for a good role um, in the industry really helped, and I think that's what sort of stood out to them for me um, to have me on board is just having that prior knowledge and um, just yeah just having that like that who you know in the world like sort of really helps in general I guess. Yeah. yeah, so building those relationships and those contacts over time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and so what advice would you give, because now you're out, you're employed, so what advice would you give to emerging professionals who are still studying, who might be in their final year or looking towards their final year or who've just graduated as well, about how they could succeed in their careers? Well, I think the biggest one for me is, um, first of all, is to not give up because I find like obviously like 
it's pretty certain the world people will just go for like one one opportunity or one role and then they don't get it and say, oh, that's the be all and end all. I think what helped me is, I guess, applying for different roles at the same time. Like obviously like just putting yourself out there, letting like the industry or the workforce know that you're keen to work, that you're passionate about the industry and that you want to, I suppose, succeed and go far in life. So I think just having just my advice would just be to, I guess, just take the opportunities as they come and just don't don't panic and don't give up. Like just keep progressing in life because one day that person or whoever it is that may be will land that job that they want. Like we're all young, most of us are young in the university world and um, we've got our whole life ahead of us. So that's what I took on board and that's something that I hope other people will learn from that. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's great advice. And so we've reached the end, Millie. So we've got I've got one more final question, which is which was really the the, the question around that was the topic of the whole show. So who do you like, share, and follow? Great question. So um, I think when it comes, because obviously me, I love absolutely love my sport, and um, like I, I take a lot of motivation because I play sport as well. Um, I think I like I take that from a lot of like athletes on social media. So whether that's footy athletes or retired like high profile athletes as well, like you know Michael Jordan, those sort of guys. I sort of like they're the people that I like to follow um, on social media. And then there's some of them have become entrepreneurs to go on to pursue um, bigger business. So, like one former footy player that I follow, he started his own clothing brand and a podcast and he's succeeded so much in life and I've taken so much advice and I guess tips from that to sort of succeed in life for myself. Um, I also like don't mind looking at things like politicians and seeing what like their viewpoints on life and I can I usually take a lot out of that, um, you know, wh whichever party they're from, like it gives me good, they give me good advice to I suppose like try different things or you know, take new opportunities, just things like that. Yep, excellent. So is there any politician, without being too controversial, that you like to follow the most? You like sort of like their posts and what they say? Look, I'm not really, like, controversial when it comes to politics, um, like some people, but I like I do um, find on LinkedIn Anastasia Palaszczuk. She um, yep. puts a lot of useful things on there um, in terms of, like, work and stuff like that. Um, and then, yeah, just things that I find really useful um, going forward, especially like progressing career-wise. Yep. Excellent. Well, we've, we've, re we've reached the end of the questions for, for this episode and the final episode. Do you have any final words of wisdom to share with the audience? I think that uh, if you're a young uh, professional or just starting out uni or close to finishing uni or just graduated, just just go for it. Just enjoy your life. Don't give up. And just take the opportunities as they come because some of these opportunities you might not get ever again so um yeah like i said just go go for gold just grab the opportunities and just go live your life i guess excellent well thank you well i have to mark the occasion because it's like the final episode so i haven't used one of these before let's hopefully it doesn't like cause a fire or anything but you ready <laughs> this, this is to mark the end of the final episode of like share follow Oh. It doesn't even work. <laughs> there we go. Hang on. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Hooray! So <laughs> good. So I, I started this in the middle of the pandemic as well, so it's been a few years. So um, thank you for being my final guest on the show, Jack, and thanks to everyone who's watched over the episodes. There's been a 100 of them, so thank you. And, yeah, so I will do a thank you post to everyone in the coming week. But, yeah, thanks very much, Jack, and thanks for sharing your words of wisdom to uh, people who are still studying and enter, about to enter the industry. So uh, thank you and thanks, everyone else, for watching along the way. See you later. Thanks,